Ladies and gents, welcome to the GBXN and this is What if the world turned to gold? The gold apocalypse by the channel Kuzgzakt in Anatsa Kuzgzakt Kuzgz I'm gonna call him Joel Joel uploaded the video What if the world turned to gold? The gold apocalypse Yes, uh, science videos Whenever they do a science reaction, I love it uh, Especially, usually I think You know, this channel tackles lots of space related stuff this is going to be somewhat like that, what if wall turned to gold, so he's going to talk about what if earth turns to gold. It's going to be a fun thing to think about, I guess. Yeah, I reacted a few videos from this channel already. If you haven't seen them, check out the link in the description with all of my videos. Uh, check out the cast all the playlists like CGP Grace, Samurai, Internet Historian, Lemino, and other tier zoo. And check out the end cards, I guess, in the end, to whatever YouTube throws at you, algorithm. And yeah, let's watch this one. Here in the Kurzgesagt labs, we only work on the most important scientific problems like what if we nuke stuff, or how about we make this elephant explode, or yeah. who could forget, look at this thing, it's really big. Cont yeah, that's the largest? No, that's that's not the largest, that's that uh, brown dwarf. Yeah, these are some really important subjects he's, ta he's tackling here. <laughs> Continuing this proud tradition, let's explore the scientific mystery of what would happen to you if Earth suddenly turned into gold. The Midas Apocalypse, based on the ancient tale of King Midas, who was cursed so everything he touched uh, turned into gold. Before so that's what it's gonna tackle. I thought he was gonna see some genuine reason, like maybe something happens and all turns to gold for some reason. I don't, I don't think that can happen ever. I mean, if that happens, we are all screwed. But that can't happen, so obviously it's gonna take the magical way of Midas touch. And then go into scientific detail, this is gonna be fun. Before we can explore this scenario with science, we'll first define the premise. Midas's curse is a very special phenomenon called magic, <laughs> which allows us to modify physics. So what happens when Midas touches something and it turns to gold? An atom of gold has 79 protons and 118 neutrons in its nucleus. The electric force of the protons on the electrons around them shapes the atom and gives gold its chemical properties, like that it doesn't rust and that it's kind of shiny and bendy. So, to make not gold into gold, we have to change atoms. Let's say Midas touches a duck. All the light elements like hydrogen, carbon and oxygen... Yeah, we need to change atoms. Alright, first of all, whenever you call something magic, you know that is so, so far away and so hokey that you're not even calling it that science fiction. It's played out magic. Because first of all, you cannot change. We are carbon-based lives. So you can't just change our atoms or ducks atoms, let's just say, into gold atoms. I mean, chemical reactions can, you know, only change in numbers of electrons and things. They cannot touch the nucleus. That's intact. If you want to change the nucleus, you need to go under you know fusion fission depends on whatever you want to do but you need to go under you know fusion process yeah so basically first of all ignoring the fact that you would need immense level of heat just to achieve that but ignoring that if you change a duck into gold basically you're doing nuclear fusion with all the atoms of that duck so basically that would be a massive massive nuclear you know hydro uh, nuclear thermonuclear explosion that will level basically half of the city if not the entire city then that's just turning a chicken into gold everything else would be one bigger explosion so yeah this this is proper proper magic not even science fiction this is proper magic oxygen gain electrons and protons and neutrons to become gold not only is the duck suddenly 33 times more massive, it's also much too dense. <laughs> Anybody who's even uh, has somewhat idea of, uh, you know, uh, any details about how all these things work, any bit of a scientifically literate, just the topic of increasing and decreasing mass which should give you heart attack because that's really, uh, that's really heavy. <laughs> that would result in, you know, uh, you know, expl you know, that would result in a lot of, uh, you know, what's the word here? Uh, explosion of, uh, you know, energy, I guess. Explosive energy. That would result in lots of explosive energy. You can't just increase and decrease mass like that. The gold atoms are far closer together than they like 
and repel each other violently, causing the golden duck to explode with the energy of half a ton of TNT, leaving only gold dust and a very dead Midas. This is clearly not a very good way for Midas's power to work. <laughs> I think it would be much bigger explosive than that, but okay. <laughs> so what if instead Midas's power uses the atoms that are already present and simply rearranges all particles in the matter he touches into gold? No matter is created or destroyed. Instead, atoms dissolve and the protons, neutrons and electrons are reassembled to make gold. However, gold is very dense, about 20 times denser than a duck. Without adding any matter, the gold duck would be a very awkward kind of foamy gold with lots of tiny microscopic gaps. This is funky and doesn't explode, which is progress. Now that we've established a sort of magic that works, what would happen if Midas stumbles? What if he touches Earth itself? Let's freeze time for just a moment and rearrange all the matter in the Earth. Just like the duck, the Earth is now solid gold but with many why is water not gold though <laughs> why is only land gold not water uh, that that's weird uh, okay we are assuming that Midas touch only works with his fingers and not his feet and other thing what about the air that he breathes you know i think i think i did a greek mythology video of internet historian who touched this and everyone at that time like yeah that is true isn't it the air you breathe the you know you touch the ground with your feet I mean, what about your clothes? Why are they not turning to gold? Tiny atomic scale gaps. While these gaps weren't a huge deal for the oh, yeah, gravity. they're a big problem for the Earth. <laughs> a spongy planet is not a thing that can exist as gravity compresses Earth, squeezing it together to close up the gaps. As a result, the Earth contracts, shrinking to two-thirds of its radius. This kind of implosion creates such an energy. First of all, every everything on the surface is screwed, basically. Uh, Earth's core would heat up immensely. Oh, God. <laughs> I can't believe this the simple concept of what if Earth says to gold is, you know, bringing up all these scientific points. I love it. If you're standing on Earth's surface, you'll suddenly find yourself in freefall, like on a roller coaster, as the ground sinks away beneath you. But since the ground is falling too, it doesn't move away from you. It feels like someone turned off gravity. Wait a minute, would the... Would, the, would Earth shrink at the speed greater than the gravity's pull? I don't know. I think somebody has to do math on that, but I don't know. If, if it's the pull, if the shrinking is... Uh, uh, shrinking speed is greater than the pull of the gravity, yeah, you would levitate like that and you and everything else would begin to float. But the ride doesn't last forever. It takes only 10 minutes for everything to crash down, and a weird 10 minutes it is indeed. And then, as abruptly as it started, it stops. The collapsing Earth has reached its desired size, and gravity is suddenly turned back on for you. Hopefully you enjoyed your minutes of floating, <laughs> because the ground and you with it crash into the planet at 30,000 kilometers an hour, making your body splatter like a water balloon <laughs> as it hits. In one instant, Everybody basically dead. all of humanity gets smashed into red puddles. This is only the start of our problems though, since Earth imploded supersonically. The kinetic energy of the implosion is go. basically equivalent to detonating a planet made of TNT. Crushed together under incredible forces, Earth's core reaches a there million degrees Celsius, a temperature closer to the core of a star than anything we're used to finding on Earth. As the Earth crashes into itself, it generates an enormously powerful shock wave which plows upwards, catapulting the atmosphere up and off. Temperature will rise. The Earth's surface temperature reaches hundreds of thousands of degrees, <laughs> and everything on it is instantly vaporized to a fluffy plasma cloud that starts to expand, but not by much. Many of the atoms that may have been new get mixed into this cloud, while others boil off, escaping from the atmosphere. The golden plasma outshines the sun, while the enormous radiation lifts tons of material off into space. Over the coming days, the plasma cloud cools and eventually freezes into a shiny little golden ball. Okay. Then some alien comes in a space and thinking, oh look at that, this is just a golden ball. No life used to be here. Yeah, you have no idea. <laughs> Man, this is such a weird concept though. Maybe this type of magic doesn't work. 
so if replacing atoms made the Earth so overdense that it exploded, and disassembling and reassembling atoms made the Earth so underdense that it imploded, there must be a sweet spot where the Earth does neither. What if Midas's power is such that an object is suddenly replaced by an object with the same volume, made from solid gold? That magic is a little bit more magic and cuts a few extra corners, but let's see where a this lot of corners. Us. So, Midas stumbles again. Even though our new pure gold Earth is not expanding or contracting, it's suddenly much more massive. The density of gold is three and a half times greater than the Earth, meaning the Earth is going to get three and a half times more massive. The moon. <laughs> For starters, everyone now has to contend with surface gravity that is yeah. more than three times stronger. Yeah. So if you're not a champion weightlifter who's used to carrying around a few times your body weight on your shoulders, you're probably going to be... Yeah, by the way, in the in the previous scenario where the, you know, Earth shrank down and became a smaller ball, uh, obviously the mass was the same, but it shrank down. So you came closer to the core of the Earth. Obviously everything died because it suddenly shrank down, everybody died. But if everybody didn't die, the, you know, the everybody's gravity would have been so strong that everybody's weight would have gone immensely high. So they would have been screwed anyway at that point. So same thing's happening here. You slammed to the ground by your own weight. Depending on where you were when Earth turned into gold, this alone could seriously hurt or even kill you. Yeah. Trees and artificial structures collapse under stress they were never meant to sustain, while birds and planes and all things that were able to fly or float splash to the ground all around you. And you're not the only thing weighed down by the greater gravity. The weight of the atmosphere and also atmospheric pressure nearly quadruples, which is a bad thing if you like living. On its oh, own, yeah, it does. this won't kill you. Scuba divers can comfortably breathe air at these pressures for a while, but unfortunately squeezing the atmosphere this much raises its temperature to 150 degrees Celsius, which is like the insides of an oven. The entire Earth's surface bakes, roasting anything and everything. There is no escape. Gold may be a metal, but it's about three times weaker than steel and also very malleable, which makes it very bad mountain material. The tallest mountains that can be supported are now only about two kilometers high, so whole ranges compress as their own weight basically crushes their base. It's hard to say what happens here. We're probably in for giant earthquakes and landslides as the planet is squeezed into a new shape. And it's not just mountain ranges. The differences between the continents and the ocean floor level out, causing the ocean basins to overflow, sending massive tidal waves over the Earth's surface. What remains is a planet made of gold, entirely covered by an ocean three kilometers deep, a super hot atmosphere, and a lot of dead people. Hmm. Yeah, but at that level of uh, hot atmosphere, wouldn't water eventually, you know, yeah, I guess if the temperature keep rising, then would happen. Otherwise, water would stay there, right? That's a good point. Yeah, but why didn't water turn into gold, man? <laughs> That's something I didn't... Wouldn't water also turn into gold? Okay, there may be a lesson to take away here, but we're not sure what it is. We did all the maths, though. <laughs> it's in our sources document if you want to take a look. If you learned anything in this video, let us know what it was. <laughs> So, as you might know, the things we... <laughs> of all the videos seen from this channel, this is just uh, epic. <laughs> the humor is really good in this one. I don't know what we learned. Uh, tell me, tell, you know, <laughs> tell me if you learned anything on the comments. <laughs> so in our shop are the reason we're able to publish videos for free. But it's way more than that for us. Here's a short story and a making of. A while ago, we posted this image on social media just to post something nice looking. Immediately, a lot of people were quite upset about it because it was wrong, and you guys take what we put out that seriously. So we deleted it and contacted experts to make something new and better. We spent hundreds of hours on research and illustration. I mean, yeah, you have 14.2 million subscribers. Yeah, people are going to take you seriously. Come on. And created this new extensive map of evolution a new visualization of the relationships between living things that didn't exist before. And while this was obviously a lot of work and stress, it sort of exemplifies why working on this channel is so satisfying. Because you people care, and this makes us work harder and learn things we didn't know before. So 
Thank you for supporting our crazy ideas and our sometimes crazy merch. Because of you, we can continue to release our videos for free for everyone and drop hundreds of hours into new concepts. We are super grateful for that. You can check out the new Evolution poster, among many other things made Yeah, people, go to shop.guzgzakt.org Buy their, uh, I guess, items that is there, if you like them, because this channel is great. Uh, this is th third or the fourth video I reacted to from this channel, and it's just awesome. I love this, man. I love this concept. I didn't know it was going to be this much fun just to talk about what if Earth turns to gold, but it's just awesome. Science is really fun, man. Even the stupidest idea, magical shit like, you know, mind as touch, you take that and go, you know, really think about scientifically, it's really fun to see that. Basically, if you turn an atom into any other atom, it will require fusion or fission, depending on what you're trying to get. If, you get, if you're trying to get fusion, that requires immense level of heat. First of all, the heat alone is fucked up, and if you do that, then there are, there's a massive explosion, like, you know, a thermonuclear bomb. That is what thermonuclear bomb is. If you f fuse, uh, you know, two atoms together to create, a, you know, even the you know, heavier element, then that just basically releases so much energy that that's the bomb. So, yeah, Midas Touch is proper, proper magic. This was a great video. All right, people, if you like my reaction, don't like and subscribe. Check out the reaction I did. There's a link in the description. Check out the cast for all the playlists. Check out the end cards. And I'll see you next time.